What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today is Saturday, September 17th of 2022, which marks the beginning of the official Oktoberfest celebration in Munich, Germany, and to kick off the festivities, I thought I would review a beer from the Boston Beer Company, aka Samuel Adams, and they are headquartered in Boston, Massachusetts, and this is their Fest beer, and this is the 2022 release. So this is a Fest beer style Oktoberfest that comes in at 5.8% alcohol by volume, 22 IBUs at the time of review. I don't know exactly how old this bottle is, but it does have a Best Buy date of December of 2022, and considering we're in the middle of September, as I review this one, we should be fine. So this is a relatively new release from Sam Adams. I believe somebody out there can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they released this one for the first time last year in 2021. I didn't get a chance to try it out last year, so I'm giving it a go this year. So this is basically their take on the authentic Fest beer style um, Oktoberfest that they sell uh, and they um, everybody consumes under the tents in the Munich, Germany uh, Oktoberfest celebration. And they have their iconic Oktoberfest beer, which is a Meriton or Marzen style, that is probably one of the better um, Meritons from a bigger uh, craft brewery here in the U.S. It's pretty solid. I reviewed that one years ago, and I enjoy it. I give it like a you know three five to three seven five, depending on my mood. I think it's pretty damn solid. Nothing amazing, but pretty damn solid. So I'm really curious to see what they do with the Fest beer um, style Oktoberfest. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping that it's it's quite tasty. So. This is the first review of an Oktoberfest beer this year on the channel, and over the next, I guess, 17 days, the end of the official Oktoberfest celebration, uh, I believe it's uh, Monday, October 3rd, so it's a 17-day stretch. I will be reviewing 10 different Oktoberfest beers, and this is the first of the bunch. So let's crack this one open, get it into the glass, and see what we've got going on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that smells nice. Really, really nice. So uh, we'll read the back maybe at the end if I remember. You guys know if you watch my channel, you know I just I forget. I'm old. So the biggest difference between, say, a Fest beer and a Meritzen is um, the reason why these are served in, in Munich, Germany at the uh, Oktoberfest celebration is the drinkability of these. They're, dare I say, more quaffable, more drinkable, more crushable. You can drink more of them. Um, I, I feel like for me personally, these are a little bit more balanced where i feel like the meriton style is maybe a little bit more malt driven I, you know that's just a personal thing but when i've done comparisons of fest beers versus meritons that's kind of how i felt and the thing you can tell is that's a lot lighter than a meriton that has that like golden straw color maybe a little bit darker into like the orange hues might look darker on camera in person though it looks like slightly darker than a fizzy yellow beer almost like you know like a just slightly di slightly darker i'd say like american Lager. That's it. I mean, that's what it looks like. Um, great carbonation, good clarity. Uh, had about a finger of a bright white head that is now dissipated to a thin film, but it looks nice in the perfect pint glass. Let's get a let's get a nose. Yeah. So I remember when I reviewed uh, Sam Adams Oktoberfest. I did it with a uh, very good friend of mine, viewer of the channel, Todd. Uh, we reviewed it. I want to say back. Maybe it was almost four years ago. I think it was 2018. Pretty sure. Well, when we reviewed that beer, you know, it was. It's subtle. It's not over the top, um, and, and these beers aren't meant to be. But I remember it like not being that like you know, just it, there was no pungency whatsoever. It was very light and it was fine. It was nice. Uh, this has a little bit more oomph to the nose. There's like a honey biscuity kind of malt sensation, a little bit of like a slightly floral or baseous hop note, maybe a touch of like a um. Like a toasted bread it has a it has a nice toasty note, like to toasty, like toasted biscuit, toasted bread, but like honey drizzle, slight graininess in there. Just smells really well balanced because you hit with all that that malt character in the nose, and then I kind of get that herbaceous, spicy, floral uh, hop character, and it kind of balances it out in the nose. Smells super easy to drink. Let's get into it. Prost, everybody. I tell you right now. And I might be in the minority here, but I like that better than their Oktoberfest. Wow, that's really nice. There is this pronounced, and it's not, don't get me wrong, this isn't like, you know, fucking over the top. But there's this pronounced like honey biscuit thing that I'm getting. It's, it's kind of weird, but I shouldn't say weird. It's kind of weird in that I don't typically get that as like the main flavor note in, in Oktoberfest beers. I mean, I've gotten it before, but there's a little bit more, a little bit more emphasis on it. 
It's just like straight up medium body too, really nice body to it. The on the palate, it's very crisp, clean, uh, somewhat refreshing and and thirst quenching. So the body's really nice, the mouth feels really nice. I like this beer so far. The taste. The tip of the tongue, it's that honey biscuit kind of malt character. And it hits me on the tip of the tongue and it darts underneath. So it's omnipresent, but it's never the biggest quality or the predominant note on the palate after that like first, maybe we'll say first fifth of the palate or like right, right at the tip of the tongue, just dies right underneath. As it passes through, I get a little bit more of like a, the honey biscuit thing dies out, a little toasted uh, bread quality, maybe a touch of like a caramel, but not too big. In the middle of the palate, there's really nice, I would say slightly spicy herbaceous kind of floral hop tone, but it's not huge. It's just there, right? Maybe a little bit of earthiness. Finishes semi-dry with a mild to moderate bitterness, more to the mild side of things. I think this is more dry than um, bitter. 5.8%, you can't tell. Um, you know, this is almost 6%. Man, every single time I go back for a sip, and it's really nice. It's, that honey biscuit thing is just, I like that. That's different. Um, yeah, it's a super drinkable. This is a, a, a great sessionable beer. Even if you just strip away, you know, the Oktoberfest celebration and everything, and just don't even look at it stylistically, just drinking it, you'd be like, wow, now I, I, I want another, and I want another, and I, by the time you're done, the six pack is gone. That's kind of what I want out of a beer like this, and I think they've delivered. Um, now, I always say this when I review Oktoberfest beers because I want to be honest with you, and, you know, we all have bias towards certain styles and maybe flavors. Oktoberfest beers will never be my favorite style. I always say this in reviews. A lot of times I'll get thumbs down or people being like, all right, why not? It's just not one of my favorite styles. I like the style. I can get down with the style. I'm clearly getting down with this beer right now. But a top tier beer for me in the style will probably never like go over a 425 personal. And this is where a lot of people say rate to style. I could. I could rate the style and personal preference. But I only do that like for... Maybe, maybe I should do that here. Maybe stylistically, as far as a fest beer style um, Oktoberfest goes, this is like a four and a half, maybe even like a high four and a half, four, six, something like that. This is, this is one of the better ones I've had. I haven't had a lot because a lot of American breweries don't brew it, but this is up there. Personal preference though, Sam Adams, their fest beer style Oktoberfest, which they're calling a the smooth lager. I mean, I gotta be honest here and this is surprising me. So I'm gonna give this a high four out of five. I'm gonna give it 4.1. I think this is really fucking good. You know, kudos to Sam Adams, you know. I, I've i always said that they have a special place in my heart because I kind of uh, got introduced to craft beer through them, different styles, their, their mixed packs, you know, their seasonal packs. I've drank a lot of Sam Adams over the year, uh, over the years, plural, and they can make some really good beer, and they have. And this is, this is I think, evidence right here to me that it's fucking good. It's 4.1 out of 5. So uh, price and availability on this one. Um, I think these were like $10.99 a six pack. I think I paid like a buck seventy nine for that bottle all day. Like you could buy a six pack of this, have a nice Saturday or Sunday, not get hammered, really good flavors. Like I could just crush this right now. I'm not going to, but I could. Mm -hmm. Availability, I really don't know with this beer specifically, but I'd imagine it's a seasonal like the Oktoberfest that you should see if you see Sam Adams. And here in the US, most people see Sam Adams. So I think this is probably available all over the place. So if you've had this one before, post in the comment section, let me know what you think about it. We'll read the little spiel here on the back. It says, the fest in Fespia means the barley and hops have been gathered and our growers have have their first moment to celebrate another successful harvest. What do they reach for? Fespia, a little bit more malty, a little bit more hoppy, brewed to relax and enjoy. And I think that's the biggest thing is like, you know, it's more drinkable, but I think th this specific fast beer is also more flavorful than me. Like I'm getting a great balance between the malt and the hops. That honey biscuit thing's fantastic. That earthy, spicy, herbaceous floral. And, and when I say all four of those combined, it's like, oh, they're all over the place. But it's like little hints. It's like a little spicy. This oh, it's a little floral, maybe a touch earthy and herbaceous, but it's not too big, the hop character. It's not like drinking an IP or something. It just balances out the malts and 4.1 out of five. Again, if you've had this one, Post in the comment section. Let me know what you think. I'm really happy I decided to pick this up. I'm kind of upset that I didn't grab it last year, and I might pick this up every year. I think next year I might do an actual head-to-head -head between Oktoberfest from Sam Adams and the Fest beer, do a, a true side-by-side, -side and see what I think about it. Because um, 
I think I like this quite a bit more than their Oktoberfest, and that's saying something because, again, I think it's a pretty solid Oktoberfest. So uh, not much more to say about this one. Uh, like I said, every other day going forward until uh, Monday, October 3rd, you will see a new Oktoberfest beer. I think the next one I have is Firestone Walker's Oktoberfest, which is an oak-aged Meritzen-style Oktoberfest, and I'm looking forward to trying that one. They changed up the recipe a couple years ago, and I can't wait to get into it. So appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Till the next one. Prost.